Hello, and welcome to a tutorial on how to use a clickable rubric. This tutorial is loaded in your class because you have one or more clickable rubrics for assignments that have been submitted to your class. So in this particular case, we're going to go to the Grade Center and look at one of these assignments and show you how to use the clickable rubric. So Barbara Student has submitted an assignment all the way over here called Marketing Plan. I'm going to click the drop down Chevron, click View Grade Details. I'm going to come over here to View Attempt. And I click and it opens up. Now the assignment is a marketing plan assignment. This is not obviously a marketing plan, it's just a Word document that I'm using for demonstration purposes only. When you're looking at your Grade Center area over here for the assignment details, you have total number of points available for this assignment. Normally, you will have this little box here, which is grading notes. So those are notes that you, as the faculty, can see. Students cannot see these notes. But if you have a clickable rubric in your class, this little icon or button right here, you can see when I hover over it, it changes to tell you that it's a rubric. So if you click on that, so here's our rubric for this particular assignment. So you can do some split screen action or anything you want to do in order to be viewing both sides. But let's assume you've read through this and you got a good handle on everything and so you know exactly how you're going to score your students. So notice that in the categories you have ranges. So in this particular case, this objectives and market overview, it gives you this particular uh, set of parameters and descriptors for how well a student does and then as you work your way this way we go from excellent to competent to needs improvement and so the scores range from 19 to 20, 14 to 18, and 0 to 13. So in this particular case you will identify for this area objectives and market overview you will identify uh, what score you would like to give the student in this particular category. We are currently now in what is called grid view and you can tell because this little pointer is there and grid view is dark. We can switch to list view which doesn't give you the detail but it does show you the range and the percentage of the total points of this 150 point assignment. So go back to grid view is what I prefer to use. And so let's assume that I decide that for objectives and market overview, this student is in this category here. They did an excellent job. So once I click on that circle, it defaults to a range somewhere between the two. Remember, this column was 19 to 20. So if I thought it was perfect, I can give them a 20. I could give them a 19. Or I could give them any one of the combinations in between. Let's say I think that that's a 20. I do have the ability, this language here the student will see, but I do have the ability to add additional feedback in this area if I wanted to. So I, can, I could type some additional things. Great work on this section if I'd like to. And uh, I also have spell check here. That's what the ABC and the green check mark means. It's a spell check. So assuming that that's uh, what I want for that area, I just move down to the next area. And let's say in this category, we're going to go there again. But this time we're going to be in 19. I may want to put something in here as to why they got uh, that one point off, why it wasn't uh, you know, perfection or, or totally excellent with nothing wrong. And then you're going to do the rest for all the other categories. Use the feedback box when you need to enter something in there. Again, determine the range. This went right in the middle between 14 and 18. There was a middle which was 16. And so that's what it defaults to. I can decide what I want to go with there. I'm going to make this one do 18. And we'll go back and do a 19 and a half. We'll leave that alone. Again, you know, I'm going to put some feedback in some of these areas. And uh, executive summary. So overall, that's a 19. And then we have our reference citations area and the spelling grammar area. Notice that in this particular case, spelling and grammar, this column is not a range. It, it looks like it's a range, but it's 20 to 20. So if I click here, there is only one choice. And that is 20 points. All the other places, um, 
we have options because we do have a range. So once I'm all done, it has totaled this all out for me. And as you can see over here, I have 138.5 out of 150 points. It totaled it up for me. If for whatever reason, uh, as this is the raw total, I, I was giving some extra points or decided that I was maybe going to be lenient in a particular area, I can actually make the points that actually show up in the gradebook different from that. Most of the time you're not going to want to do that, but there might be one of those special circumstances where you do want to do that. And then in this particular area you have your toolbar. It may actually look like this, and if you want more of the options of your, um, of your toolbar for your text editor, you just click this little drop down chevron to get all those. So you could give video feedback, you could attach a file, all kinds of different things, or you can just type in here maybe some final wrap-up comments on all this. Well, let's assume we're done at this particular point. We have filled in the rubric completely. We're now going to go and hit save. And so what we have now is we have this particular score in here, 138.5 out of 150. And once we hit submit, the student is going to have access to see not only his or her score, but they're also going to have access to the rubric itself. So anything that you put in the, in the rubric, any of the comments that you put in the rubric, um, any of the scores that you put in any of the categories, you're going to have access to the rubric. Should you want to see what the rubric is ahead of time, say you're getting ready to grade and you want to familiarize yourself with the clickable rubric before you actually start grading, you can actually find all of your rubrics for the course by going into the course tools menu on the side going over here to rubrics. In this particular case we have two different rubrics in this course so we're going to put a check mark next to marketing plan and say open and that will give you access to that entire rubric and so you can just scroll up and down and kind of familiarize yourself with it before you start grading the first student. So that's all about how to use clickable rubrics as a faculty. Hopefully this was helpful for you.